Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It took uh, 16 months of intense negotiations to finally reach uh, where we are today. There were a lot of ups and downs, but I think through uh, mutual respect, cooperation, uh, we were able to achieve the uh, final agreement which will be signed today. Thank you, Jesus, in the last month, Nan Hutchis, that is God. Sweat Hutchigon, this. What do Dagnos? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The agreement we have negotiated with Stornway is unique and set up a new model of cooperation between mining companies and our community. Not only it is an excellent agreement, it also gives us the opportunity to build a solid and trustworthy re relationship with Stornway. Everyone here can be satisfied with this agreement, and especially the families of our impacted territory who receive special attention and will direct ben benefit from the project. The Macheshu Agreement is not a simple impact and benefits agreement. It is a unique agreement that sets up a new model of cooperation between First Nation and a mining company. So it is with great satisfaction and enthusiasm that I host the signing ceremony which is the result of negotiations contemplated in the pre-development agreement signed in July 2010. It provides for the establishment and maintenance of a long-term working relationship between the parties based on mutual trust and respect. The agreement also contains financial dispositions and measures to ensure the protection of the environment. I wish to emphasize the great degree of attention given by Stornway to the social acceptability of the project by Ms. Disney. The agreement contains several measures to maintain a constructive and respectful relationship with the tallymen and family members of Ms. Disney M11 territory the territory impacted by the project. Stornway did a great job of listening to our people and set up a new standard in the area of consultation and information. At this point, we can assert without a doubt that this project has clear social acceptability from Ms. Disney. The signature of this agreement marks a tangible step towards Looking forward in the active participation of the Crees as partners in the economic and social development of Inuit It is imperative to seek and explore ways to strengthen the Inu economy and society based on the traditional beliefs and values for the hunting, fishing, trapping society. Companies must recognize the value of traditional knowledge and traditional values. I believe Abel Swallow expressed that in his opening remarks of passing down that knowledge and that tradition and trying to preserve the land the way he saw it and try to minimize the environmental and social impacts of activities that will happen on that land. Mr. Jesu agreement is a living proof that when the Cree stand united, we can accomplish great things. The agreement will provide tangible benefits to the Cree nation of Mr. Sni, but also to the Cree nation as a whole for years to come. Benefits in the form of employment, training, business opportunities, and economic benefits that will benefit all and contributing to the building a life for our youth and making Inuit their homeland, a land of opportunity for them. With the Crees as active partners in the 
Renard Diamond Mine. The agreement marks the beginning of what we are confident with a positive partnership between the Crees and Stonewing. This is a very significant moment for us. Uh, and I want to talk about a little bit about why this agreement is important for Stornoway. Uh, we're a mining company. And uh, we're in the business of, of excavating the resources of the land. And uh, we try to do this efficiently and profitably. Uh, we respect the, the regulations under which we, we operate, the government regulations. We pay our taxes and we pay our royalties. Uh, and we seek to return value to the shareholders who are, who are investing in us and giving us the capital that we need to build these mines. That's the traditional model for, for mining uh, across the world. Um, uh, but in that traditional model, one thing has often been forgotten in the past, and that's the role that local people and, and, and in Canada, First Nations people, play in this story. Um, it's not always been the case that the importance of local people has been considered. Uh, uh, in the jargon of the, uh, of the modern world, uh, mining companies now seek a social license. And what does this mean, the social acceptability? It means that we acknowledge that local people, First Nations people, are our neighbors, our employees, they're our business partners, they are the people that were on the land before we arrived, and they're the people that will be on the land when we leave. So we have responsibilities. We offer opportunities, but we have responsibilities and obligations to these people. Uh, and it is not possible to conceive any more of a modern mining project doesn't recognize these basic facts. Uh, this is what the Macheshu Agreement means to us. It is our acknowledgement of the importance of our neighbors, and in particular, it's our acknowledgement of the important rapport and connection that the trees have with this land. I want to leave you with that thought. That's the business we're in. And I want to thank everybody who was involved in the process of coming up with the Macheshu Agreement. Thank you very much. gift or the souvenir that we prepare is in line with the spirit of the negotiation or the spirit of the development of the agreement. It's uh, representing a trip that we'll do together. We'll have a common destination. It's what is representing. These birds fight against the wind, they fight against the storm, but they always keep the road. It's what we will do together.